Hello. My captions aren't started, heck. Oh, are they? They are. Oh my god. Hello, hi, good morning. Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. I don't know how to read. Every time you write that alkali, I just hear hedge and I get confused in my brain. I'm gonna turn down my mic a little bit. Hold on. Oh my god, it is Thursday, right? Also, hi, Eric. I love you. Welcome. Hedge. Hedge. Is that? Hopefully that's good. Mods, yell at me if audio is bad. For some reason, it's looking like I'm louder today than I normally am, so I can I can lay fiddle if I must. Hedge friends, hi, 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 hello. <laughs> Are like during your lurk time? Wait, Barb, that's so good. Wait, that's so good. I have 15 minutes to finish some work before I have to start getting dressed and getting to actual work. Ill grumps. Speaking about Eric, everybody, literally right before the stream, Eric um, signed a deal with the devil with me and has signed over his time next Friday to come play Chaos Names with us. I was hearing everyone complaining about how we don't do Chaos Names enough yesterday or the day before. And so I, rect I, I, I rectified it. You're welcome, Alkali. I have, I've tricked uh, Eric into coming and hanging out with me next Friday. So we're gonna be playing Chaos Names for the second half of stream, not this Friday, but next Friday. I'm very excited. So everyone tell Eric you love him and tell him thank you because I can't get anyone else to play Chaos Names with me anymore. It's it's gotten too bad. Eric is literally the only person I know who now is like, let's do it. Well, that's not true. We do have Jamie and James. I don't believe them though. I don't believe them <laughs> that they wanna play. I, I just love, I love playing you with Eric so very much. So everyone tell him you love him. <laughs> I believe Jamie, Jamie is being polite. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll rope Jamie in maybe later this month. Good evening, hello, Q, it's, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. Brian, hello, of course. Alkali Chicken Barb, thanks for being here. We had a pop in pre-stream chat, by the way. If you didn't know, my mods are almost always here like, 15 minutes and a half an hour before the stream starts. And we just hang out and chat and we talk just us. And it's a nice little, it's a nice little private chit chat time. I wish I had a whimsical top hat and a mustache. Why? Just cause? Oh, so I can feel like it's time for chaos names. Oh my God. I just thought you meant in general. And I was like, well, can't help you there. Hi, Bill. Bill, happy Thursday. Welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. I love you. I mean, Eric, I, I'll buy it for you. I'll expense it for you. If you if you want to pick out a hat and a mustache to wear, I will I will send it to you and Bill CG for it. <laughs> Hi, Renny, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Arliel, enjoy your work and lurk. I appreciate you. I mean, okay. <laughs> did I ruin, did I ruin the bit? I feel like I ruined it. What did I do? <laughs> the vibe drastically changed on that and I don't know what I did. <laughs> Do you have a new hair color or was it always this dark? Uh, Q, it's not a new hair color, it's black. Um, and I've had black for a few months now, but I did actually get it re-dyed literally yesterday. So thank you for noticing. I feel like it's not noticeable because it goes from like, kinda, it's becoming dark brown again, back to black. And I feel like it's not usually a noticeable change, but that's actually really sweet, Q. I'm glad you, I'm glad you noticed. I got it, I got it trimmed and I got it recolored. I'm every hairdresser's like favorite client because they literally, I sit down, they smear black paint all over my hair. I sit for like 20 minutes, then I dunk. Then they give me a blunt bob, which takes like two minutes. <laughs> it's awesome. Coming from having used to have the, coming from having used to have, coming from a world in which I used to have the most annoying haircuts ever. Um, the hair, the haircut itself has always kind of been pretty simple, but I used to do really annoying hair colors like green and orange and blue and stuff. And I used to be at the hair salon for hours and hours and hours. And now I'm just like, paint my head black, dunk it in the water, snip, snip. That's it. Super easy peasy. I love it. It's great. Ooh, your boy's getting gray, Bill. Bill, you're aging. Oh no. <laughs> No, I say I say embrace the gray. I actually think gray is a really, really beautiful hair color. Bill, you're growing up. They grow up so fast, Barb. Oh, he's flying the nest. God, I my desk is covered in wax. Oh my god, I need to. Okay, I need to hold on. This needs to end. This needs to stop. I have a dedicated fidget toy. I shouldn't just make it this ball of wax that I have. I'm gonna take my normal fidget toy 
Um, <laughs> for some reason, the like store brand seltzers that we've been buying um, have this like covered in wax. I explain, I explain, I explaining. If you, um, I don't know how to describe it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna explain it. And if you don't know, tough nuts. I don't know how to explain it any better. If you have a can, right? Sometimes when you get it, there's like a ring of like wax around it where they used to kind of be fused together or where they, I don't know where it's like where they make the packaging. It's like gluey waxy stuff that's sometimes around like the lip of the can. All of my seltzers have been coming with like, yeah, it's like hot glue or something. It's probably, it's more, you're, you're totally right, chicken. I just said wax because I couldn't think of a better term. It's much more a hot glue consistency, like dried hot glue. Um, and all of my seltzers have been coming with like a big glob of it. And I've been collecting it into a little ball on my desk. Um, it's fun. It's a good sensory. You can like bite it with your teeth and it like indents. It's probably giving me all sorts of chemicals in my body that shouldn't. And you like can break it apart and fiddle with it. Um, <laughs> I like, you can probably roll that back and see my brain debating whether or not I should say that part. But we committed it. We, we, we full send here on this channel. That's where I, I'm telling you all my truth or nothing. That's, that's, that's the, that's the agreement that you get when you enter this chat. You get my whole truth and nothing but. <laughs> Hi, Osmati. Eating, <laughs> Eating glue with the girlies. Eric, I adore you. I can't wait to hang out on Friday. <laughs> Play chaos names. Eating glue with the girlies. That's, I want that on a t-shirt. Dude, that's so good. God, I love that. That's so good. Hi, Megan. Megan, I love you. Thanks for joining. I adore you so much. You can just make t-shirts. Oh my God, we have the technology. Oh my God. But make sure it's in the live, laugh, love font. Oh, absolutely. No, I don't, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. I don't want it on a t-shirt. I want it on like a home goods, like, I don't know what you call them. Those like giant faux, like metal signs. The ones that say like home or like, you know, the live, laugh, love or like eat. They just like say random things and you put them. <laughs> love eat glue. <laughs> I want. <laughs> Wait, that's <is> so. <laughs> that's so good. Oh my god, Megan, please. <laughs> Can be my next housewarming gift. I want something that just says like, do we? Okay, chat. We have to think. What's the perfect iteration? Is it live, laugh, eat glue, <laughs> or is it eating glue with the girlies, or is it love, eat glue? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've had such a weird day today. Love laugh glue. Love laugh glue. I don't <laughs> I don't know how I feel about love laugh glue. Cause it's the wrong order. It's live laugh love. There's something very cursed to me about taking basically the same thing and kind of just swapping the order, making it love laugh glue. I don't that's too much for me. Gaslight Ginky <laughs> Glue. Oh. oh, you should get a live, love, laugh sign? No, no, I hate, that's too much. We're corrupting full grown adults to eat glue. No, CG does not condone glue eating. I was just oversharing. Oh, there's a difference, duh, duh. Not glue free. <laughs> also, hi, Tim Tarlis. I don't remember if I said hi or not. Ray supports it, not CG. Yes, there's there's a big difference. Money, money, glue, moose. How dare you? How dare you? Eating glue with the girlies has to be something. It, that's really good. Wait, no. Okay, chat. We're redesigning my 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 kitchen based on this theme. We have, right, like a live, laugh, eat glue sign. <laughs> I think my favorite is live, laugh, eat glue. <laughs> I think that's my favorite. Um, <laughs> chicken. But then, but then you get an eating glue with the girlies like monogrammed apron. That's the move. That's that's to tie it all together, right? And then you get like those um, those little um, <laughs> you get those little like you know those like sugar and whatever jars that just say like those like, you know, those like pottery barn looking like 
uh, salt, sugar, those like little individual containers. You just get a ton of them that just say glue. <laughs> Just all of them, various sizes and shapes. They all just say glue in like different font. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I ever started like um like an Amazon wish list or something, <laughs> it would be for my my glue themed kitchen renovation. Oh my god. Chad, I love y'all. Thanks for thanks for just absolutely making my <laughs> making my day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. Oh my god, welcome back, King Israel. Thanks for joining us. We're just chit-chatting, but we're gonna get into a game of Last Runs. Oh, I almost just knocked my coffee absolutely everywhere. I need to come down. I need to like chill. I'm up here. I gotta be down here or something's gonna break. <laughs> Dude, what's happening? What's going on? <laughs> the energy today is unhinged. I was gonna say, in a minute, we're gonna play Arnak. That's what I was gonna say. We're gonna play Arnak on BGA. <gasps> Megan, are you gonna play with me? Oh my glob. I think it's gonna be you and I think I saw um, Omelette earlier also redeem it. I don't know if Omelette wants to play like today, but you redeemed it so you can if you want. Um, and since, <laughs> Megan, I'm excited to play with you. It's gonna be fun. We have one more spot open since we're talking about it. We can go ahead and, and do that now. If anyone wants to join our uh, a fourth spot for Arnak, we'll grab Megan and Omelette, if they're they're around and they want to do it. Jeremiah, all right, let's go. Let's go. Typically, I read off a list and we pull from that, but we'll just do you three because we're feeling chaotic today. Thank you, Renny. I appreciate it. All right, our team will be Omelette, Megan, and Jeremiah. If someone could tag uh, Omelette and just confirm that they actually want to play. I saw them pick the redemption, but they might just be doing that for a future day, so... Yeah, no worries, Megan. It'll be a couple minutes before we start. I gotta, we, I gotta, I gotta get my yayas out. I gotta get my zoomies out before I can play. <laughs> gots to, gots to get my zoomies out. Lost gloons of Arnak. All right, this has gone too far, chat. Officially, officially, we gotta rein it in. Y'all are getting out of control. <laughs> I'm off work today and tomorrow, Megan. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so excited for you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um. The gluies? No, no. St I, I created this monster and I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> what is Arnak about? Uh, King Israel. It is a uh, worker placement game slash a deck building game where you are exploring a like an island that used to house a lost civilization and you are exploring and trying to understand what happened in the island by researching about it and exploring deep into the jungle. Uh, it's really cool. It's one of the games that we make here at Check Games Edition, and it's the digital version. You can see the physical board game is right here, but we're playing the digital version on BGA today. That assumes we're ever in control. <laughs> oh my god, I love y'all so much. Thanks for thanks for a good laugh. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're having a good Thursday. I've had just the most unhinged week of my life, um, but that's okay. It, that's it's good for the soul. It builds, as my as my dad would say. It builds character, um, having an unhinged week. I don't know that I like this song. I don't like the, like, the distortion. Maybe I do. Maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> We're trying a slightly jazzier playlist today, chat, so I'll, I'll, I'll need your feedback on whether or not you like it. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling. We're playing some Arnak today. I should probably get it started because four person Arnak games tend to take a while. So I'm going to boot it up. Give me a second. Uh, Megan, are we friends on BGA? Have I ever played a BGA game with you? I am not sure. Yo, what's up, Wim? Welcome on in. Happy Thursday. Everyone, how's your week going slash? Any cool things coming up this weekend? Doing anything, doing anything fun? No, I don't play on BGA very often. Okay, let me know. Um, message in chat what your BGA name is and I'll hit you with a friend request. We never got confirmation on an omelet, right? If I don't hear back from him soon-ish, I'll open the spot up to someone else, but I'll give him a minute. Cause I know he likes to play, he likes to play Arnak. So I'll give him a second. Okay, perfect, Megan. Keep your eye out for a little, a little friend request. Oh my god, I love your icon. Shut up. That's so cute. Chat, look at how cute this is. Look at this. Look at her icon. That's badass. That looks so cool. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. 
All right, we're gonna send a friend request. <gasps> Megan, you don't have a perfect reputation. Oh my God, just kidding, we can't be friends. <laughs> yeah, she's super cute. Just like you. Ooh, did my friend request like not go out? Okay, no, it's out. It's, it's out in the world. Is she from? Is she from a um, Tim Fowers game? It looks like the art style that he usually uses. Burgle Bros. I still haven't played Burgle Bros. I should. I should fix that. I know. I know. I know. Do you want to play with me sometime? We could be playing Burgle Bros right now. Dude, both you and El I think Eleni really like Burgle Bros. I've heard it from multiple people in my life. Question, is there a waiting list to play Arnak with you? Wim, yes, there is. In fact, you are on it. Um, and if you want to play today, if Omelette doesn't say anything in the next like minute, I will give the spot to you because we gotta, we gotta get started. There is a list. I don't pull from it in a very like organized way. Typically, if people say they want to play and they're on the list, um, then we put them in the game. <laughs> and usually, everyone's just a good sport about it. Um, not seeing it yet. Yeah, Jerem uh, Jeremiah, I haven't. Wait, what are you? Yeah, I haven't started it yet. I was waiting to friend request Megan. Meryl, welcome on in. How's it going? I'm getting more coffee and changing because it's hot. Oh my God, it's getting so gross. I hate the heat, y'all. I'm not, I'm not about it. All right, I'm gonna say, since we haven't heard from Omelette, that we'll give the spot. Wim, if you'd like to play, it's all yours, friend. We'll leave Omelette on the list so they can play next time. But we wanna, we wanna get her, get her started. Thanks for being a good sport. Anyone who wanted to play and didn't get a chance, I appreciate it. We're gonna grab. Wim, are we friends on BGA? I have too many, I have, I have too many friends now. I can't remember who I have on BGA or not. Tantarlas, you love the heat. You're built different. People who actively enjoy like living in hot climates are genuinely just built different. I don't get it. I don't think we are. All right, let me know what your uh, username is and I'll send you a friend request. Yeah, we're doing. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely not friends. I would have remembered that username. Iconic. Alright. You got a friend request, and then once you accept that, I'll get the table going. Good luck, people who aren't Ray. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see you later, friend. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to pin that, but actually that worked out. I clicked that on accident. Oh no, running errands in the heat is the worst. If you can just like chill, if you can have a little iced bevy and you can sit on your porch and you can just vibe, then it's fine. If I have to do anything in the heat, ugh, I get very like, I get very agitated easily when I'm hot, you know? All right, let's send out our friend requests. Or not our friend requests, our table invitations. Uh, we got Wim, Meguna. Megan, I'm so excited you're playing with us. It's so exciting. Megan and Jeremiah. Jeremiah, is your name just Jeremiah or is it something different? Jeremiah, are we friends or do you have a different username on BGA? Can I invite you without being friends? Not that I don't want to be your friend, but I think I can just... I do like... Okay, I, I was able to send you a friend request, or uh, invite to the table without being friends, just because it sped up the process. But it is funny, it gives me like a little moment where they're like, they're not your friend, are you sure? They're my friend for life, Jesus. All right, we're just waiting on Meguna, but take your time. 
Don't bring Ray to West Virginia Ren Fair. Yeah. I love that the Ren Fair where I live is typically in the autumn. It's usually in like August to October is Ren Fair season. If you're a little bit more north, like in the PA New York area. I don't know how y'all stomach like true midsummer Ren Fair. Get all sweaty. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like it. I would always rather be cold than hot. Almost always. But I was also raised in the frigid north. Oh my god, June. Ugh. June very well may be my least favorite month. Just, what's, okay, chat, what's your least favorite month? Weird question, but I think like peak summer, June or July. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Gross. You don't like October? Because you don't like Halloween, right? I, th I think I remember having heard that at some point. Also, Megan, the table invite is out to you. Let me know if you don't see it, if you're having trouble with it. If you gotta take a couple minutes to get ready, no worries. I just wanna make sure it didn't like not get sent out or something. <laughs> Damn, Tantarlis. December, cold, wet, Christmas. You don't like any of those things? Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, hold on, what is Renny saying in all caps? And then T Auntie that runs the neighborhood. Hold on, I miss, I miss some backstory here. I did indeed stop to get bubble tea on my way home. <gasps> That's lovely, Renny. Love that for you. And then the tea auntie that runs the neighborhood shop was an actual auntie and asked where my partner was. Chad, I do not have a partner, Renny. Renny, that's adorable. You gotta, you gotta have them like match make for you. That's so cute. Hi, Linnaeus, welcome on in. Linnaeus, happy Thursday. Yeah, I feel like my least favorite month has gotta be like June or July. Probably July, I think it's usually hotter in July. Linnaeus, how's your week going? Welcome on in. Oh, that's fair, Tontalis. That's totally fair. All right, gaming start, but blam Yeah, January is kind of a bummer too. If you are someone who likes Christmas time. I'm not like a big Christmas person. I like the, I like the, the jolly nature of the lead up to Christmas. January is just all done. And then it's like, just sad. Alar, welcome on in. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Spent some time with a friend yesterday. Hell yeah. Alar, how are you? Welcome on in. How was your week? All right. We roll in chat. All right, Wim, you are up first. Oh my God, I'm yellow, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so chat, just so you um, can put the, the names to faces. I'm green, this is my stats up here. Banana666 is uh, Wim the Webmaster. Jeremiah Blob, same name as in chat. And the gaming mess or Megan is down here in yellow. Good luck to everybody. Thank you for playing with me. I appreciate it. I hope you have fun. Best of luck, Godspeed. You're probably gonna have an easy victory today because my brain is in shambles, apparently. Yeah, no worries, Megan. If you got any questions, uh, let me know. I sure have played a lot of this game on BGA, so if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. My week was lost to Jedi Survivor. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been seeing that floating around like social media and stuff. I'm not a big... I'm not a big Star Wars girly. Chat knows this about me. Star Wars and like sci-fi in general is not my nerd persuasion of choice, but love that for anyone who is. What kind of game is it? I've only ever like seen the, the cover art. I don't really know anything else about it. Wait, you have the same birthday as your wife, Brian? That's cool. How does that work? Do you guys like do a joint celebration? That's that's super cute. It's a Dark Souls light. Oh, interesting. Very cool, very cool. That was very much not the answer I was expecting, but okay. Oh, cute. I 
have two answers. From a comfort standpoint, being cold is better because you can bundle up. Yes, I big agree. I like being warm, but from a survival standpoint, I'd rather be hot because you can cool down in an instant, but warming up takes a long time. Oh, I like that you took it in like a, in like a survivalist standpoint. That's a very good point. <laughs> Yeah, I freeze to death sooner. Yeah, you would you would definitely die faster from extreme cold than extreme heat, but I'm also not a doctor, so don't take my word on that. Hi, Bloody! Welcome on in. Bloody, how's it going? Happy Thursday. All the mods are here. The universe is at peace. All right, I'm going fourth, which means I have a coin and two compasses. So I'm gonna try to go for discovering a site. Whenever I'm in the, the last spot or one of the spots that gives me a lot of compasses, I like to try to go for an early site discovery situation. So we're gonna, we're gonna go straight up here, chat. We're going for it. Boom. Wait, why didn't it, why didn't it take me there? Did I, did I mess it up? Hello? Not enough compass, I know. Hold on, there, then I go here, then I go like that. There we go. It like, it bugged out for a second. Ooh, I will take it. That is a fine outcome. Well, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll make it fine. Oh, Megan, no, that sucks. That's very, that's very, very bad. Until I run away and watch cartoons. What cartoons are you watching, Barb? My week has been very busy, busy. It's been a bit much. Oh, I'm sorry, bloody. Hopefully, eh, hopefully it's been okay. Like just a lot of stuff as opposed to a lot of bad stuff, but I feel that in general. My week has also neither been bad nor good, just too much, just too much. Yo, Giggles, what's up? How's it going? Happy Thursday, friend. We're talking about, we're talking about least favorite months for anyone who's just joining us. And in general, hot V, V cold. Oh, bloody, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, sometimes that's the worst. Just too many things, just easily overwhelmed. I, I feel that, I feel that. Hopefully it lightens up for you soon. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, Giggles, it's getting real. It's getting real hot where I live too. It's gross. But we're very lucky. We have we have very good a the one nice thing about this house, because y'all know that this the house that we're renting, um, has had just been a nightmare hellhole of endless problems. The one thing that this house has is central AC. I have never in my life had like central AC or what? what's it called? There's like a term for it. There's a term for it that I'm, I'm blanking on. Maybe it's just is central AC. The, the AC that's like, it's hooked up to the whole house. And it's like that we have forced hot air, which means we have these little vents on our floor that push hot air. Those exact, like to heat up the house, those exact same vents can also central air. That's the word. They can also push cold air. This was not advertised with the house. I don't know if it's just me, but we're from where I come from, that's rich people stuff. That's like, that's mad rich. If you had central air, when I was a kid, like my friends who had central air, it's like, oh, they're, they are wealthy. <laughs> that was a wealthy person thing. And we, I remember when we were, when we were surveying the house, when we first moved in, we we're like, what's this unit back here? Turns out it's a central air unit. I mean, I think it's a little bit easier because of the way the house is set up because it already has the vents for like forced hot air to heat the house. I don't like, I think it was probably a natural inclusion, but it's so nice. It's the one thing that this house has going for it. And that's good because we used to have to lug around these giant, massive ACs. I had this really big AC for my office back when we lived in Scranton. Hold on, I'll take my turn and then I'll finish my story. Um, So I need to get two compasses and an arrowhead to pay off this. Oh, we're all exploring. Okay, girlies, look at us. We're all exploring first round. I feel like I set a bad precedent because I might get stuck with this, this guardian and have a hard time paying him off. 
But all right, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna go down here and get this arrowhead before someone else does. My arrowhead, thank you very much. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> Oh yeah, we used to have these really big ACs. The one for my office. Cause we, we inherited two crappy ACs from my parents. Cause ACs are expensive. And I work in board games. <laughs> so we, we inherited two clunky, mostly broken ACs. Like one of the ones that we used to have in our bedroom, like the, the dials don't work. It just, it gives you what it gives you. You have no control. But we invested in this one really, really nice AC for my office. Cause when I'm streaming, calling back to what I was talking about earlier, I don't do well in heat. I get very agitated. And if I'm trying, I can't like be a personable, nice person if I am uncomfortably warm. I like can't do it. So like I would not be good on stream if I'm like sweating and in like a hot environment. I just like can't do it. So I was like, okay, I'm officially full-time streaming now. Let's <laughs> eat glue. What What's happening? <laughs> Someone tell me what's going on with the glue I missed. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm eating glue. You, you missed nothing else. So we invested finally in like a nice AC for my office, but it weighs a bajillion million pounds. No one tells you that nice ACs are automatically the heaviest thing I've ever, like heavier than my like my like bed. It's so heavy. And I'm very, very grateful that we did not have to lug those out of the basement this, for I mean, for this season, but also for as long as we live here because we have central air. I feel very rich. I've That's always been, I don't know if it's that way everywhere, but at least in New England, like Central Air is a rich person thing. That's not what most people have because um, we don't have enough hot seasons for most people to invest that kind of money. So if you do it, it's very much like a luxury thing. So I don't know. That's that's one point in this house is good. That's one point in that column. Everything else, hate this house. Uh, all right, Lance, I need to get one more compass and I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna get it. Cause I can play these cards, right? That gets me one compass. I could use my idol to get this. It kind of feels like a waste. Kind of feels like a waste, but we know what we're doing it. We're going with our gut. We're not overthinking. Bada bing. Look at that. Boom, boom. Got our first guardian. Let's go. And I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much tapped out, I think, for this round. Well, no, I can move, I can move up once on the, the research track and then I'll be done. Yeah, Diplomat. Also, hi, Diplomat. Welcome on in. Yes, I think that's totally right. I think it's because of, like, where I lived that it's, like, it's not a necessary investment in a house. So the people who have it are, like, rich people who have money to throw around kind of thing. Our houses are made of stone, so I guess that's not easy to do. Wow. Our houses are made of stone. Do you live now I now I now I can't not picture you in like a little like a little Dutch cottage that's like got made made of these like giant stone slabs and a little thatched roof. Until you tell me otherwise, uh bloody, that's my that's my mental image for you and where you and Meryl live. Alright, that's it for me. Oh, I could buy a card too, I guess. Ooh, Megan, don't forget you can buy cards with your coins. The only place I didn't have central air was in college in my dorm room in my first apartment, but West Virginia has blazing summers and cold winters, so very popular seasons. Yeah, no worries, Megan. The only reason I say that is that I was just about to pass and then I was like, oh wait, now I got some coins. Haven't you seen an image of their house or at least of the roof of it? Have I? I vaguely remember seeing the roof when we were talking about me climbing roofs. I do remember that. I do remember that. When I was in my roof climbing era, which hasn't stopped yet, but I have officially invested in my porch, which is taken away from the appeal of the roof just a little bit because the porch is a little bit more um, accessible and easier to <laughs> easier to use with friends. I've had a couple of instances lately where I'm like, hey guys, you wanna you wanna go hang out on that roof? Do you wanna like take these drinks on the roof? And they're like, no. And then I get sad. That's right, bloody, I do remember that. All right, let me buy some cards. Woo. We got instant tablets. We got activate any base campsite. We have get a compass and activate an unoccupied base campsite. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the lantern. You'll roof sit with me, right? Okay, that's the mark of true friendship right there. Yeah, Renny, my mom came to visit me. Um, <clears throat> God, I guess last weekend. Wow, that feels like this week has been everything. I hadn't realized just how recent that was, but she came up last weekend and she, for my birthday, helped me um, like do my porch, like get lights and, and some cheap chairs. And it's really, really nice. We got these, we invested, I splurged on these really nice porch lights that like flicker, like they're candles. Ugh, ugh. I sit out there almost every night. I'm obsessed with it because as you guys know, my last apartment had no outdoor space. And that was like the, that was my biggest gripe with it because I because I work from home I'm cooped up I'm in here like 60 hours a week I'm in this room like my hobbies get done here my work gets done here I'm here all the time like at least my partner he walks to the hospital every day he gets built in outdoors time I don't get that so it was starting to take its toll on me in our Scranton apartment that I couldn't just like <clears throat> be outside I'd have to like get in my car and drive to the park or, you know, walk to get coffee or something. I'd always have to have like a destination in mind. I couldn't just like lay out in the grass, which I find very important to my mental. Um, so to celebrate the fact that I officially have a little porchy area, uh, she came over and bought me these little, these little like, um, again, these, they're, they're these little lights that look like little flames are in them. And we got a couple of cheap chairs. It's so nice. When I don't stream, I, I try to do my work on my laptop out there. In my youth, Barb, stop that. Barb, you're not even allowed to joke about being old. You stop that. My last apartment had no outdoor space. Now I have a backyard, therefore I will sit on my roof. Yup. Well, to be fair, my previous apartment didn't have a sitable roof either, so. <laughs> I also spend 20 hours each day in the same room for two years now. Yeah, Tontarlis, it you don't realize it at first, but eventually it does kind of take a toll on just like your perspective and your your mental and stuff. Hi Dutch, welcome on in. How's it going? It was really bad at the at the start of COVID because we really weren't going out like for dinner or like for walks and stuff. We were very much staying inside. And um, hold on, let me think. What's my plan here? Hmm. God, why did I draw two fear? That sucks. Honestly, I'm gonna just go here. I'm gonna go back to that site that I discovered. It's pretty. It's a pretty good site, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go right back to it. Um, it was really bad because I was working from home. I was working online still for a different board game company. And I just, we weren't leaving. We weren't going absolutely anywhere because we were living with my um, my two parents who my dad in particular is quite old. He's He's, I won't disclose his age, but he's much, much older than you would assume he is for me being his child. Um, and my mom has got some health issues and stuff. So we were like very lock and key, not leaving the house. And I genuinely, it started to like hurt my eyes. I know that sounds weird, but I was looking at screens all day. And then when I was not looking at screens, I was never looking more than like 20 feet away. Like my eyes genuinely were like, I don't know. I started to like, I don't know. Maybe I was just being a hypochondriac and like making this up in my head, but we would occasionally go on walks and like practice my eyes, like focusing on things far away. Cause I was just in this basement all the time, working on my computer, chilling in the basement, which was fine. But eventually I was like, this is, this is hurting me more than just like mentally. It's too much. QTR, welcome on in. Yes, Arnak, welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so yeah. That was that was extreme because we genuinely like never left the house. That was that was rough. All right, we're gonna pop up here. Haha! -ha. Eat my shorts, losers. <laughs> Hi, time roller. Welcome on in. How's it going? Um, I'm also work from home. Office is in my bedroom. Oh, I didn't know that earlier. For some reason, I thought you had an office office. Yeah, it, it can be rough on your people skills for sure. For sure. I would love to work from home. Uh, Megan, I would love you to work from home too. Then we could hang out more. <laughs> yeah, being a parent and work from home is like a whole other challenge that I'm not 
that I'm not even gonna pretend to be familiar with. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you did earlier. Mmm. Yeah, Time Roller, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a big game. It's a beautiful game, but it has quite, it's got quite the table presence, uh, physical arnak. Oh, wow, Tantarlis. That's in, that's intense. That's very intense. Oh, I feel like I need to like crack my neck, but it won't, it won't do it. Ow. The best part is that my work counterpart on the call also had children in the background. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> We're just like, good luck everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <gasps> wait, yes, I am curious. I'm so nosy. Show me where you live. <gasps> Shut up, that's so cute. That's so cute. It's not what I was picturing, but it's very cute. I was picturing like, a little like Scottish cottage. I know you're not Scottish, but that was what was in my head for some reason. Uh, yes, QTR, this is Snake Temple. Or you can keep thinking we live in a cottage. I love that you spoiled it in Discord in case I didn't want, you didn't want, in case I didn't want to ruin the magic for myself, you let me not, not see it if I didn't want to. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to do now. <laughs> you what's up, Adrift? It's good to see you. How's it going? Go here with some boots. Well, no, no, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I don't want to do that. No, I'm gonna go here and get a gem instead. I take it back. I wanna start moving my book. I just had a pic of Derek and I pop up from 16 years ago before we started dating. Oh my God, I love seeing baby pictures of you and Derek. You're so cute. But I also kinda hate how my phone does that cause it will randomly pull up photos and I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna see this anymore. It makes me feel all existential and stuff. I don't like it. We are QTR, thank you. I hope you're having a good day as well. Have you had anything anything fun or interesting happen this week? Do you mean Derek only exists with facial hair? I've seen some clean shaven like high school pictures of Derek and Derek. Um... I can never work from home. At home, I am not able to do anything. I hate to do anything from home. I'm the kind of person who needs a dedicated space for all the stuff I'm doing. Q, I totally get that. I completely understand that. Um, it's There's absolutely like a pro and con to, to, you know, all of it. I work from home, so I'm more flexible. I get to roll out of bed. I get to plop down here, typing, typing. But sometimes it is there is also like a little bit of a mental, you know, um, there's a little bit of a mental toll, especially if you don't have like a dedicated office. I think that was when my like work from home sort of mental health was worse was when I, my office was like part of my bedroom cause I didn't have a dedicated space for it yet. And there is like, it can hurt if you're someone like me who has a bad work life balance delineation issue. The fact that your work is always just there and you could all, you could always be working. That, that's what's hard. So it really depends on your personality, right? If you're someone to who's, if you're someone who's susceptible to being like, mm, but I could, I could just finish this now. I could just keep working. That gets me sometimes. I've gotten a lot, to be fair, I've gotten a lot, lot better at it over the last like year or two. When I first came to CG, I was, I was pretty bad about setting my own boundaries. Cause you have to, it's not like, Oh, well it's time to leave the office. I literally can't work on this until I go back to the office and access the software I need, you know? 
all the things I could possibly ever need to do my job are just always here in my house. So I've had to work pretty hard over the last year or two to learn how to set those boundaries. Because if you don't have them, at, f at first it's fine. You're like, I'm just being super duper productive. And then you burn out and then it's bad. <laughs> and I have experienced a couple of, couple of burnout episodes. And yeah, now we don't do that anymore. <laughs> you those forced to take a vacation last year, Barb! You don't have to call me out like that. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. Listen, I took yesterday off. I'm starting to, what I'm starting to get better at is taking random days off. Because I think the compounding issue not to, not to place blame, but it is hard. So I'm just reframing my camera a little bit. I feel like I'm in a weird spot in the frame. Um, not to place blame or anything, but it is difficult having my partner be in medical school because he doesn't have any time. So like, if I want to take a vacation, I got to take it on my own, which is fine. I'm an independent girly. I could do that. But like, I'm in a partnership. I want to go on vacation with my partner. If I'm going to go on vacation by myself, it means I'm now away from my partner for a week or so. And that's, that's just less appealing to me. So I end up just not taking true vacations because it's so rare that he has enough time off to warrant it. So I'm getting better at just being like, you know what? I'm taking a long weekend because I want to and not working Monday or something or taking Wednesday off. It's usually Monday or Wednesday because stream days, I do have to be somewhat consistent with the stream in general, which is another thing that makes taking vacation hard. If I ever want to take a whole week off, it means a whole week that I'm not streaming, which you guys, I love you. You look, we, you like being here, but there is always the fear that, hey, if I take two weeks off, you'll find another board game streamer and you won't come back. And that, that's not great. <laughs> that That's like a fear, you know? So I'm getting better at taking small random days off that you guys don't even know about, but I do them for myself because it's nice. Oh, I'm supposed to get an assistant. Um, what assistant do I want? I can get, I can get car girl, I can get boat boy, or I can get gem girl. I think I want you. Thank you very much. Sorry, chat. I forgot I had to do something else. Yo, what's up, Hexstar? Hello! Best wishes, everyone. Hope the team is doing well. Oh no, I missed the game because I was working to earn money to continue eating. Ain't that the worst, Hexstar? It's the perpetual cycle of being alive. That is, <laughs> that is okay. I'm glad you were able to stop by. Hope you're having a lovely Thursday as well. Bill freaking Murray, what's up? Hello! Happy Friday Eve! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, Megan, Megan can can understand can understand the fear. You can have the best community in the world and you can have like the coolest relationship. It doesn't it doesn't matter. The fear is still there just as a creator of like this platform has got thousands of people on it. If I'm not here streaming, they'll find someone else and that makes me sad. So, it's it's a it's a complex I feel like every streamer has. God, I love your emotes, QTR. If I, I wanna steal, I wanna steal this Yoshi head bobble so badly. It's so good. It's so good. All right, chat, what's the vibe? Where, what are we doing? God, Megan, slow down. You're going up the research track too fast. Stop it. Slow down. So if I go, if I do this, if I, so if I want to make up, if I want to move my magnifying glass from here to here, I need to have two tablets and an arrowhead. I can get two tablets by going here. And because of this assistant I just got, I can spend a coin to get uh, the arrowhead that I need. So we'll do that. That works out nicely. Aw, thanks chat. I know, the thing is I know you will. And I, the thing is I have taken a week a week and a half off and you guys do come back because you guys freaking rule. It's more a fear that lives in my head than a fear f that's based on experience or actuality. Uh, but y'all rule and I appreciate it. Y'all are always so very supportive of when I do take substantial time off. Um, and I, I hope you know I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Holy heck. Getting ready to volunteer at Awesome Con in DC. What's Awesome Con? In case anyone in the area, in case anyone is in the area and didn't know, they have a whole tabletop section, hell yeah. 
For some reason, Awesome Con sounds like something put on by like the, um, the Green Brothers, but I don't know if that's if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, that sounds super fun, Hexstar. I hope you have a lovely time. It's nice that you're volunteering. Working behind the scenes at a show is always such a fun way to experience them. Ooh, get the Pack Donkey. Nice, Megan. That's a really good card. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do exactly what I said we would, which is get that and then go up here. Is akin to Comic-Con. Oh man, I miss going to Comic-Con. Comic-Con's so good. Contrary to the rumors going around, you are a cyborg, Ray. We know you are human. And that means you need time for you sometimes. Exactly. Thank you, Bloody. Oh, I just love Comic Con so much. I used to go all the time when I was in college because I went to I went to school like an hour outside New York City, so I could take the train into the city and go to New York Comic Con. Oh my god. I used to do like a ton. I haven't cosplayed in a long time, but I used to do a ton of cosplaying at New York Comic Con. Some of the most fun I've ever had a, at at a convention was was cosplaying at at NY NYC C New York Comic New York, no it's NYCCC it's New York City Comic Con cursed acronym cursed acronym um All right, so I need an idol to progress up to this spot. I don't think I'm gonna get any of the materials I need, so I can just buy some cards. The end of this round. This game is going suspiciously fast. <laughs> Exile this card, that feels like a lot of work. I can get the steamboat for an immediate two compasses. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think I've ever bought that card before. Oh, it's just me. Um, oh, damn it. I wish I'd saved a coin for this, but I didn't know this was coming. Ostrich is a very good card. Heck. Time to eat some blister balls. A Dutch snack. Enjoy your blister balls, bloody. For some reason, that doesn't sound, doesn't sound very appetizing, but I wish you the best. We'll get fishing rod. Why not? Ray, 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 check Discord. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god, she sent me young Megan and Derek. Oh my god, what are you, like, 12? You're so small. Oh my god. Y'all are such babies. Your love story gives me hope, Megan, I swear. I swear, y'all are so cute. Oh, I never changed. I just realized I never changed the go live announcement. What was the go live announcement <laughs> today? I realized I never changed it. Because I just looked down at my phone... I, I have a notification before stream every day that tells me to change it, and I see it, like, the push notification, I haven't, like, dismissed it, because I just didn't see it. Yo, what's up, Slivers? Hello! Enjoy your Diablo 4 release! Yeah, I've been seeing you talk about that on, on Twitter. Enjoy it. I hope it is everything you've ever dreamed of. Oh my god, sophomore so 15, just turned 16, babies! You're so freaking cute, heck. Yeah, Hexter, our question of the day today is, if you could pick any game for us to play all together, like, as a group, on stream next Thursday, so kind of like what we do for Arnak, like, not, you're not actually on stream, but you're playing 
in the game that I'm playing on stream. If you could pick a game for us to play on BGA next Thursday, what would it be? Because I kind of want to play another BGA game. We play a lot of Arnak, which I love. We play a lot of Tashkalar. But I was thinking if we could come up with a bigger group game, um, I was thinking possibly uh, Railroad Inc., which I've actually never played before, but I know it's on there. Uh, Welcome to any of those like big roll and write games. If anyone has any like game they're dying to play, uh, let me know. Oh my God, Bloody sent me a picture of the blister balls. They look very good. They look very good. I have to admit. All right. So I need to get an idol if I want to move my magnifying glass. And if I want to move my book, I need either a tablet, a gem, or two arrowheads. We can get one arrowhead by our girly here. So I think that's probably the easier, easier route to go. So let's start by just going here, claiming that arrowhead before someone else takes it. Or I could invest in, in discovering a location because maybe I'll get an arrowhead that way. Yeah, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Let's do this. And then let's explore the world. Yeah, yeah. Where do I want to go? Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah. I want to go because I can... I can go to a level one site. I have a free boat because of this, but the boat like location doesn't really benefit me right now because it allows me to untap my research assistant who currently isn't tapped because I currently don't have any coins. But this one is a plane, which I can't afford with my free action. These, this is a car. I mean, I guess I could do this. Yeah, I guess I'll use my boat later and I'll do that. I'll do that. Boats, 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 boats. Really into obsession lately. Ooh, I have not played. Um, I don't want to trade because I have nothing to trade. Ah, damn. Well, I guess that, that worked out. That worked out. You know what? I'll take it. Ooh, we could do Sushi Go Party. Is Sushi Go Party on BGA? I know it's on Sovereignty because I've played it with played it with BGH on Sovereignty. Ye oh, okay, maybe we do Sushi Go. That could be fun. That could be fun. Cause yeah, I'm looking to play, I'm looking to play some big group game or something. Um, some big group game next Thursday, just to mix it up a little bit. So if you have any other thoughts on that, I'm, I'm super open, super down to hear people's thoughts. And if you don't have any thoughts on that, you can tell me your favorite game to play on BGA just in general. Cause yeah, I'm thinking we could do um, some sort of roll and write, like welcome to or something, but sushi go party is a really good idea. I'll have to look at streaming it. If the, that's always the tricky thing with playing these types of games, right? Like on stream is I want to make sure that people can still watch the stream without like the game kind of being ruined by seeing my perspective. Like you're seeing my hand in Arnak. It doesn't really, it's hard to really stream tonight. I mean, unless you're really like being a tryhard and really trying to like cheat. It's kind of hard to do that. I'm trying to think about if so sushi go party would work. I guess it would. You would just kind of have to, we just have to have the honor code of not looking too closely at my hand to see the cards that are about to be passed to you. Glad I started using more two gold airplane, especially with expansion. It's super useful and was neglecting it at the beginning. Yes, that is a rule I find a lot of people neglect, especially in the physical game. Cause like at least in BGA, uh, you guys can't see it because I have it cropped on this screen. But when you go to select your actions, it will um, prompt you. Like when you're going to a location, it'll be like, do you want to spend a travel icon or do you want to spend two coins for a plane? So it reminds you that that's a thing you can do. But I have that experience too. And I'm playing the physical game. It's a really easy rule to forget. And it's super, super powerful. It's a really nice way to use up your coins, especially later in the game when you're not buying as many items. It can be a really good use of extra cash you have left over. All right, let's go ahead, I guess, and move up here and discard my fear. And yeah, that's my turn. Yeah, Megan, I think that's a good idea. I'd be super down. I'm gonna make a note of that before I completely forget. Cause as you all know, anything told to me on stream in one ear and out the other. Sushi go. Yeah, that could be fun.
Ooh, yeah, I'd be interested in Next Station London because that's a that's a Spiel des Jahres nomination that I've never played. That's a good idea. Iwari, I haven't played that bloody. Line is bullying you? Oh no! I I don't know the games I'm playing in BGA currently well enough to know whether or not I'm getting bullied. I'm in a game of It's a Wonderful World. World. It's a Wonderful World right now. I have no clue what's going on. I went into this and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna not read the rules. I'm just gonna figure it out. Um, I am currently failing to figure it out. I have no clue what's going on. So I could be currently being bullied in that game and I have no idea if it's happening. <laughs> Which is honestly the best, ignorance is bliss. Hey, what are artifacts? Artifacts are the blue cards. So up in this card row that you see right here, these are artifacts, these blue cards. They cost, um, they cost compasses to buy them. When you buy them, you immediately get their effect and then it goes uh, to your discard pile. And if it comes back into your hand in the future, you have to play a, pay a tablet to use them. You'll see there's like a little tablet and then a arrow that says like in the future, if you want the effect from this card, you need to pay a tablet. And then the counterpart is of course items which cost coins. Those go to the bottom of your deck. You don't use them until you see them, but when you see them, they are free. I have no idea how to play It's a Wonderful World and I'm in the same place. Okay, cool. We're, we're surviving and thriving together, Alkali. I'd have it no other way. Um, I have got nothing. Wow, I got a whole lot of nothing, but I do have an idol now. So let's bibbity boppity up here. I'm chasing Megan down, Jesus. She's shooting up this research track. Ooh, do I want the plane person, tablet person, or up? I got this upgrade person last time we played this. I had this assistant the entire game and I could never properly use her once, so screw that. I'll take I'll take the airplane assistant, get some travel options going for me. Oh look, it's a little party. Wim is up here too now. We're having a nice little party at the assistant, the assistant spot. That's why I played a lot of games to just start it and see what happens. That's what I love about BGA is you're able to just do that because the game will, you know, not let you cheat. So it's like, all right, I will just, I'll just give it my best shot and I'll figure it out. Wonderful world, God, I cannot say. I can say world just fine, but something about world after wonderful, the W's take over my mouth and I don't know what to do. Um, wonderful, wonderful world ah, is, sorry, <laughs> is a way easier game, is way easier than the game seems. Yes, I'm, we're just in like the first round now. So I'm assuming after a couple of rounds, I'll get the hang of it. Yeah, for sure, Megan. I like I like tabletop simulator games that like don't rely on you playing the game, if that makes sense. Like in a tabletopia or a tabletop simulator, you have to know the rules. It's literally just simulating a table as opposed to having its own engine that won't allow you to play the game wrong. Because I'm, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. I like it when I'm not allowed to to like cheat. Like if I don't remember every per rule perfectly, the game will remind me or not let me forget, you know? What kind of game is Awari? I also don't know if I'm saying it right. It doesn't, the mouth feel doesn't feel right, but I don't know how else you would say it. Love the five player game of tranquility that we've got going on currently. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Is land control, oh cool. Yeah, one of the games I'm winging right now is Acropolis, which I'm playing with Eric Yurko right now which I really like so far. Spatial games like that are usually pretty easy to pick up. You might not win, but you can at least kind of vibe out what's going on. 
Megan, oh my god, you got so many resources. Oh my, oh, stop it. Jesus. I got nothing. I got a bunch of goose eggs straight across all of my resources. Bunch of goose eggs. All right. And I got two fear in hand. Awesome. Love that for me. And one person who has yet to be placed. So maybe... <sighs> you pronounce it fine even if the mouth feels off? Okay, thanks, bloody. My computer was like borking for a hot minute. Oh no, Megan. For a second I read that as barking. I was like, you should be more concerned. <laughs> If your computer's barking at you for, not just briefly, but for a solid minute, that's very concerning. You should see a doctor. I hope, I hope it's okay now. Computer troubles are the worst. I don't know what I want to do with this last explorer. God, Megan, how are you already on a level two site? Dude, stop. <laughs> Megan came into this and was like, I don't remember how to play. And it's just like crushing it. It's deeply upsetting. Uh... I need an arrowhead and I need a car. Ooh. For my little froggy boy, which I don't know that I'm gonna get. Oh no, chat. I can get the arrowhead, but I don't see myself getting the car. I have boots and I have a boat. But neither of those can be used in place of a car. I miss, I misplayed this round, chat. I done did a goof. I done did a goof. I need three coins and that would solve all my, all my earthly problems, but I don't think I'm gonna figure that out. Go here and get some coins, I guess. All right, chat, I'm gonna BRB real quick. Hi, right, Barb, I got water. Are you proud of me? I got some salsa. <laughs> I 
Thank you, Alkali. Oh, my tummy hurts, chat. I had too much coffee, my tummy hurts. <laughs> oh. Did you get water in a can? Yeah, bloody, it's... Yeah, it's seltzer water. What do you mean? Do you not have water in cans in, in the Netherlands? Huh? Yeah, probably drinking a carbonated beverage is not gonna help my tummy be less upset -y, but here we, here we, here we go. Trying it anyways. <laughs> I was too lazy to get regular water. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what, is this a Europe thing? Is this a, do you guys not, do you guys not have water in the can? <laughs> Wait, whoa, is this a Europe thing? This is water. It's carbonated. And it's got a little like a little lime, a little raspberry flavor to it, but it's sparkling water in a can. You can just drink water from the tap, thanks, Wim. I you know what? Believe it or not, I'm aware. <laughs> okay, I know you you could okay, Alkaline, but do you know what seltzer is as like a concept? There's a difference between I only drink water from the tap and I have never heard of water in a can before. Wait, okay, all right, all right. Poll and chat. Tell me if you have or have not heard of seltzer water and then what your nationality is. Is this, an, I need to figure out if this is a, an American thing. I never would have guessed that it was. <laughs> seltzer feels very old, like an old world word. Barb, what does that mean? Sora, welcome on in. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. We have can water in Finland. Thank you. Thank you for representing the can water fans of Europe. I appreciate it. Also, welcome to the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Ray. We're streaming some Arnak right now with some friends from, from chat. It's not soda, though. It's not soda. Also, hi, Gracie Paws. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. It's not soda though, cause there's no sugar. It's just, it's just carbonated water. Very different. Huh. Y'all are fascinating, huh? Oh no, now I'm gonna be burpy. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna be borpy. Heck. Barb, I can't tell if you're trolling me or not. But that's every interaction I always have with Barb. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a card for free. I draw a card from the bottom of your deck. Interesting. I oh, got lots of exiling cards. Uh... We'll do a large backpack. Why not? Why not? Interesting, if it if I want sparkly water, I buy it in plastic or use a soda stream. Fascinating. We do have sparkling water with flavors if you want, but they come in, it comes in bottles, not cans. Look at us in the US being more environmentally friendly, I think. I think aluminum cans are better, marginally. Barb, what? <laughs> I'm flabbergasted at the word illegit. Something I think of when I'm watching sitcoms from the 70s. Wow, thanks for calling me old Barb. I appreciate it. Bad milk to enter chat. So incredibly cursed. No, thank you. Oh, that's awesome, Sora. Uh, my first time actually able to watch stream live. Have you been watching the VODs or like just seeing other stuff about the stream until today? Mmm, yeah. 
Cans take a lot of energy to make, gotcha. I feel like they're easier to recycle, but yeah, it's it's one of those issues where it's not, not black and white, obviously. No, do not bring me bagged milk at GCC, gross. Oh, hell yeah. I love that you've been watching the VODs, Sora. That's so cool. I don't, I don't believe that anybody watches them. So that's awesome that you actually, that you actually have. That's really cool. That made my day, Sora. Thanks for, thanks for saying that. If this, this can is one of the few ones that I've gotten this week that doesn't have like the hot glue that I was talking about earlier. So I can't show you guys the glue that we were, that we were talking about earlier. Mm, this song too slow. Give me new song. Ooh, whim has passed. I say like that's a shock. I think I'm also gonna pass this round actually. Ew! I was like, no, that's so gross. That's so gross. Absolutely not. Disgusting. Disgusting. What's <laughs> wrong? Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do. I want to get this frog guardian, but I. It's very unlike me to not exile my guardians. It's very unlike me. I usually never put myself in this situation, but I don't see a way out of it. Unf unfortunately. Oh, I think... I think I goofed, chat. I think if I had spent this turn when I went down here... Sorry, you can't see my cursor. When I went down here, if I had gone over here instead and gotten an arrowhead, I could have then moved my magnifying glass here and untapped like this guy and then used the plane to pay for it. Ah, ah, no. I think I done goofed, chat. I think I could have done it, but I, I borked it. Oh man, all right, I gotta pass. That's a bummer. That's a major bummer. Oh, uh, Megan, mm, bummer. I definitely, I, there, I should have, I should have thought that turned through more. That's the worst when there like was a way to do it and I just, I missed it. If this were a real game, I would have asked, I would have pulled the group for a take backsy. Well, okay, chat, what's your, what's your, what are you, where do you draw the line on take backs in board games? Like if I messed up previous round, if I wished I had done another action than what I did, what's your like statute of limitations of like, no, no, no more. You can't, you can't go back and change that. Depends on the game. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. All right. I'm going first for round four. New info released. Yeah. Great. I think that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good metric. I do not allow take backs is the following day. That's strict, Slivers. Man, you you tow a harsh line. <sighs> hmm. Oh, there's lots of guardians still out there. Lots of people are just leaving their guardians out. Oh, okay. Hold on, chat. I want to read all your. I want to read all your comments, but I gotta think. I gotta. I gotta do a big think. I think I'm gonna go like that, and then pop up here, and do her. Yeah. Okay. First game for sure, but it depends on how many turns have passed and such too. Yeah, I think if it's someone's first game, I'm very lenient about them taking back their turn because they don't really know, they don't really understand the full repercussions of their actions and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm very lenient on folks on their first game. 
Yeah, okay, if it's an oopsie, not really, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm the same way. Generally, if it's easy to adjudicate and if it didn't affect anyone else's turn. Yeah, that's when it gets tricky. It's like, well, okay, if you redo your turn, then that affects what this person would maybe have not done this. And then all the, this game state needs to change a million ways because of this one thing you did. Then it's like, uh, all right, we're just moving on. Also, Sora, since you're new, if you if you feel comfortable sharing, I'd love to know what your what your favorite board game is. It's an easy, it's a nice way for me to like get to know uh, new folks in chat. Or the following day, whichever comes first. Any harder question than what's your favorite board game? I know, that's a rough one. I don't even have a good consistent answer to that. I think these days I'm pretty sold on like Codenames really is my favorite game. But it's hard, it's hard. It's like, I don't know, I don't know. I also can't really say it anymore because now people don't believe me. They're like, well, you're just saying that. I'm like, no, Codenames has been one of my favorite games my entire life. I just now happen to work. I now just happen to work here. Ooh, you enjoy Solo Cascadia. I have never played Solo Cascadia. I've played <laughs> based. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> I've played regular Cascadia a lot, but never Solo Cascadia. That's really cool. I'm glad you enjoy it. question. Does anyone have any tips on teaching games? Meryl's organizing a board game night tomorrow. Oh, yes. Good for Meryl. That's awesome. At her work and it's going to need help explaining and I'm a bit daunted by it. Ooh. What kind of games are we explaining? Are we playing party games? Are we playing like light strategy games? If there's any other info you can give, that'll help. Um, I guess my bit. So I teach games all the time. Um, I tend to do relatively rehearsed teaches. Like I, I sit down ahead of time and I think about how I'm gonna go about teaching something. Uh, so I'll like practice to myself, which I know sounds a little silly. Yeah, I mean, I kind of a barber set, like not, maybe not necessarily that um, intense, but I'll usually walk it through because even with games I, um, I really love and I know very well, I might think I can like, oh yeah, I got this. I can just, I can just do it. Uh, and then I sit down to do it and I get overwhelmed by like the social pressure and stuff. So if your anxiety is about like doing it well the first time or whatever, um, I would give it a little practice just while you're in the shower or something. It doesn't have to be like a dedicated, oh, I sit down and I make a Google doc or something. Next time you're in the shower, talk to yourself, pretend you were explaining it to someone. Uh, depending on the complexity of the game, I might stack if there's like a deck or something, stack the deck so that there are easy cards that are coming up first. So like if there's special edge cases or something, bury those cards just a little bit. But also many one page rules. Okay, all right. I you You got this, Meryl. I completely believe in you. If we've got one page rules, you're gonna be just fine. You're gonna be just fine. I'm so excited for you. I hope they love the games. I hope you have a wonderful time. Oh, that's so exciting. But yeah, I would practice a little bit and I would not try to teach everyone everything up front. That's a very like CGE model as well. Um, we have to like put this disclaimer at the top of most of our like demos at conventions and stuff of like, hey, we're gonna organically teach you this while you play. Like when we go to teach Arnak, hold on, let me, let me take my turn. I'm not just babbling away. Mm -hmm. I guess let's start with this. See what we're working with. Oh, what a boring hand. What a, I have cool cards in my deck. This hand is so boring. Yuck. Um, when we teach Arnak, we sit around and we have like, okay, say we're playing, we're teaching a four person game of Arnak at a convention or something, right? We'll have the first person, we'll say, okay, so you're gonna go to this base camp site. You're gonna take this, you're gonna take your Meepo, you're gonna put them here. Here's how you pay for travel. And then this right down here tells you what you get and we'll give them like the two coins or something. Then the next person will be, say like, hey, you're gonna play this card in your hand to get a compass. Now you have three compasses. You can actually go up here. Like we, we in our, in the way we teach, we actually script everybody's opening turns. We'll have like the, the imp or the demo or whoever will go around and basically we, 
telling people what to do on their turn for like the first round in a way that it shows all the possible actions. And then by the second round, you just walk away. You're like, all right, you've now seen all the things you can do. You put it together. That's for a more complicated game like Arnak. Um, if you're playing lighter games with your coworkers, you probably don't need to do something like that. But the takeaway from that example is you can teach as you go. It can be hard. I know I have a lot of people in my gaming group who can get stressed out and frustrated if you don't tell them all the rules, but whatever. I don't really care. If it's just for funsies and it's a lighter game, usually you can get away with not telling them everything up front because it can really overwhelm people. So slowly rolling out rules and stuff can be, can be really nice. Um, rolling Reggie, welcome on in. How's it going, Rolling Reggie? It's good to see you. Oh man, if you had gotten here earlier, you could have played with us, but it's good to see you. I hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good to see you. Sorry, my captions got a little bit behind there. There we go. I talk too much and too fast for like every captioning service. <laughs> I don't think it's the fault of the service. I think it's, I think it's me. I think it's my problem. I'm the problem. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely, um, Hexter. Definitely start with a brief description of like the theme, why you're doing what you're doing. Absolutely, absolutely. Sliver says, having kids who love to play board games is nice. Since they were toddlers, they were toddlers gets you very good at teaching them. Yes, teaching kids is such a skill. Oh my God, I do not. I do not have the patience for teaching kids board games. Oh my God. Well, I don't have, I don't have patience for kids in general. <laughs> That's just a blanket statement but we are not bringing many complex games. Our company is not filled with board games, so we don't overwhelm them. Yeah, if you're doing some light party games, I completely have, have faith in you, Meryl. My general advice would be to practice just a little bit. You know, if you know, I know you said you're bringing a lot of games, so maybe don't practice all of them because that's way too much work. But if you know, hey, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna play Wavelength or whatever it is, do a little shower practice. Next time or like you're driving to work on your commute, just, just get used to explaining it out loud, especially if you don't play, if you don't, if you don't teach games that much, uh, it can be a little unnatural and weird if you like don't know where to start. Uh, so just do, a little, just do a little practice if you find some time in your day. Don't be afraid of not telling everyone everything all at once. And that would be, that'd be pretty much it for my, my advice. Um, I hope it goes well, Meryl. I'm really excited for you. I hope you give a lot of people like a new hobby. I hope like that, ugh, that's the best thing about teaching board games, especially to a big group of people who don't play board games, is you have like the opportunity to introduce them to the hobby, which is really sick. All right, I gotta take my turn. God, I cannot keep up with Megan on this research track. It's driving me insane. <laughs> what are we gonna, what do we wanna do? I'm gonna go, nah, this is gonna get me more fear. Maybe I go here. And spicy take, maybe we go here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, do we, is this like glitching out on me today? Yeah. Ah, are you serious? I drew fear. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. All right, sorry, chat. I can catch up now. Megan says, dude, the walk that we got for Arnak was amazing. Yes, you had, I think you had Michelle as your demoer. She's so good. We have such good imps on our, on our CG demo team. Ugh. Yeah, no, it, it sounds weird. Like the description I gave of like how we teach Arnak, but it really, it really does work. Like we have honed that teach after literally huzen, ugh, huzens, hundreds. Mm, brain no work today, chat. Um, hun hundreds of Arnak demos. Um, yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad it went well for you, Megan. 
Cousins, thanks, Alkali. I, I love that I have such a supportive mod team who um, doesn't kick me while I'm down. I really, I really appreciate that about you guys. <laughs> I love how you're saying you have faith in Meryl, but I'm the nervous one. Oh, I guess I didn't really, I, get, I thought it was like secondhand anxiety, like Meryl was nervous, so it was making you nervous. If Meryl's not worried, then she's got it. She's got it. Cousin sounds like a brand of seltzer. Barb, Barb, please leave me alone. So wait, are you doing, are you doing the teach? Now I'm confused on the whole hypothetical. Hold on, let me go back and read the original post. Can I just like not read? Meryl's organizing board game night tomorrow at her work and I, oh, you're gonna be helping explain. I got it, I got it, you're gonna be fine. I don't know why I was only giving Meryl support. I'm sorry, I, mis I misunderstood your original post. Brain truly do go burr, it really do. <laughs> sorry, chat, my brain is, is mush. It's mushy smush now. <laughs> I do love that emote, bloody. <laughs> yeah, he hide. But I usually teach, so Leon is an uncharted territory. Yeah, yeah. Starting to teach games for the first time can be it can be daunting. It definitely is like a skill. It's an acquired skill. You can really only get better at it by practicing. So just just treat this as a good as a good good practice, good experience. Yeah, only one location left to unlock. We've been doing so much exploring. We've been running away from so many guardians. This is a very weird game state. I don't think I've seen this very often where almost every single site has been explored, but there are, God, six undefeated guardians. I can't wait to see people's like negative fear scores because everyone's, everyone's just running away. Everyone's just like, deuces, I'm out. No, thank you. And I kind of love that for us, you know? All right, let's tap this, get a gem, then we can, God, I'm gonna get more fear. Awesome, great, cool, cool, cool. Guardians too spooky and spooky as this game. Yeah, for anyone who's really familiar with Arnak, what's the what's the most intimidating guardian? I'll, I'll highlight the ones that we have on the board right now. We've got this, this board. We have this, um, honestly, this giant scorpion's pretty bad. We have giant spider. Not a fan, not a fan. We have Frog Guy. Honestly, Frog Guy doesn't intimidate me at all. I feel like he'd be a very good pal. He seems very chill. He has, he has good vibes. And then we have these like weird hyena, weird hyena creatures. I think, I think out of the ones on the board, this guy's the scariest to me. Especially cause he's so like, I don't know, gloomy and ugh, no thank you. Um, theme wise, the four coin greedy boy is the scariest mechanically, completely agree. I just mean in terms of the art. Does BGA have the leaders expansion for Arnak? It does not at the moment, Sora. Uh, we may implement it down in the line, but currently uh, it's just the base game Arnak on BGA right now. I'm always curious how publishers decide to add expansions to BGA or not. Yeah, it's a, it's, I mean, every publisher thinks about it differently and I'm not like really central on the decision. So I don't want to talk about it with too much like authority. Uh, but from my understanding, at least putting your game on BGA can be really helpful in, in like increasing sales, right? Even if you put it on BGA for free or on like Tabletopia for free, it allows people to try it out. And if they like it, then typically, you know, they'll go out and buy it. And that can be, that can be very beneficial for a publisher. With expansions, it's like less so, you know, because the people who like the game, it's no longer about introducing people to the game. So it's like the cost benefits, like a, it's a little bit different with an expansion. Again, I'm not part of that decision at CG and that could be totally off base um, from like the actual internal discussions at CG. But that's kind of my understanding of it is, you know, it's it, the deciding to put an expansion on is different than deciding to put your regular game on. I really enjoy Arnak with the expansions. It's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, you are not alone in thinking that, Sora. We pretty much 
every time I play Arnak on BGA on stream, at least someone is like, when's the expansion coming? Are you going to add the expansion? And I wish I, I wish I had a better answer. Unfortunately, it's not, not in my wheelhouse to decide or even really to speak on. I probably shouldn't be speaking on it at all because it's not, it's not a conversation I'm really a part of. That's just my, that's just kind of like my best guess. All right. Hmm. Oh, I need to move my book. Oh, shoot. My book is still very low. Well, it's higher than everyone else's book, <laughs> but I still should, I still should move it. So I need to get a gem somehow. I could just go here and be boring. Could just go there, or I could try for guardian. Hmm. All right, my time is running out. I'm gonna be boring. I'll be boring. I'll go there. I need a car. Um, sure. Remove your book. Thanks, Meryl. Thanks. I'm, I'm working on it. We're getting, getting it up there. Ooh, Megan has officially been overtaken on the research track. Wim is now higher. Wow. Yo, what's up, Todd? It's good to see you. How's it going? It's going well. We're just chilling, playing a little bit of Arnak with the, with the, the community. Sorry to hear you're working, but I'm glad you get to hang out with us while you're working. We are the best. We are the best work from home distraction. What other deck builders do you enjoy? I like a lot of deck builders. I mean, I, the, the game that will always and forever have a very, very special place in my heart is Dominion. I have a million billion expansions for Dominion. I absolutely adore, absolutely adore that game. The timer up top is stressful. Yeah, it's all big and red and flashing. Yes, I also recently re-fell in love with Clank. I used to play Clank like a little bit, you know, maybe early, early in my experience in the hobby and then just totally forgot about it. Never played it. And I've been introducing board games to um, a couple of my friends and I pulled out Clank because I was like, I haven't played this in a while. I remember this game being pretty easy and it kind of re-sparked my, my love of Clank. So yeah, I guess I would now consider Clank to be one of my one of my top deck building games. You've only played Dominion one time? <gasps> Megan Legas. I mean, I think I mean better deck builder games have probably come out since Dominion, but I don't know. I did you did you like it? Was it just the fact that you don't own it or whatever or did you not like it enough to go back to it? I still haven't played Clank. I want to so badly. It's really good. And I heard that they're announcing a digital adaptation of it, which when that comes out, uh, I am absolutely going to be playing Clank on stream. Absolutely. Yeah, Alkali, I feel like you'd enjoy it. I think you'd like the theme. I think you'd like the weight of it. From what I know about your board gaming um, preferences, I think you'd like it. But at the very beginning of my board game learning, so I wasn't a fan. That's fair. But I'm willing to give it another try, Megan. I would love to play Dominion with you. A big Dominion stan. Hell yeah, Rolling Reggie, I'd love to. I'd love to play a game together once it's once it's available. Ooh, Arnak is still in foil. Looking forward to playing it. Ooh. Well, you'll have to let us know when you when you get around um, a chance to try it, Ta. Let us know what you think. Oh my God, yes, that's true. I have what I've never played Mystic Veil, vale, but I've watched BGH play lots of Mystic Veil vale on stream. Ooh, how is Clank Legacy? I think we were talking about it on stream a while ago that I thought it might be a fun first Legacy game to play because I've never played a Legacy game before. Um, but I've heard good things about it. Yeah, I've only played base Clank. I've never done Clank Catacombs or Clank in Space. I've never played Clank in Space. Clank Legacy is so good. I'd be down, I'd be down. We talked about it last time because the the people that I'm trying to get into board games, I'm slowly introducing them to like all the different genres. And people were saying that Clank, Clank Legacy is a good introduction to the legacy genre. Huh. 
Clank is not so popular. Interesting. Welcome back, Omelette. We never played our finished board. I don't know what you mean, Omelette. For those of you who are into legacy games, what's your what's your like all time favorite legacy game? Oh, I gotcha, Omelette. Gotcha, gotcha. I see, I see. So wait, you got all the way to the end and then didn't finish? That's a bummer. You hate legacy games, ooh. Is this a, I have no interest in trying them or I have played them and I actively dislike the experience? Cause I'm in the former category. I've The concept of them has never really appealed to me. So I've never played them. Now these days, be just cause my gaming group has changed. I now think my current gaming group actually could get really into a legacy game. So now I'm, I'm starting to think about it more than I used to. All right, moving my book, making my way downtown. Oh, I guess I should use, I guess I should use my assistant first cause I get to untap him. And then I get to go here and then I get to go here and that's my turn. Ah, uh, we finished, but we didn't play a game after I see, I see. Gotcha, thank you for the clarification. Legacy games, Charter Stone is top, Pandemic Legacy season one, probably second so far, nice. Yeah, I loved your Betrayal Legacy, your Betrayal Legacy playthrough, Megan. Oh, I would, I would count, I don't know, chat, would you count Frosthaven slash Gloomhaven as a legacy game? What's the like distinction there? Cause I guess in my brain, I consider that to be more of a campaign game as opposed to a legacy game, but that might just be like semantics at that point. Wait, why bloody what's wrong with it? I literally that phrase just popped into my head. What's wrong with it? Yeah, it's a campaign cause you can reset it. Yeah, 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 that, that's, that was my, that was my, thinking as well on the terminology. Have a good day, Tontarlis. Thanks so much for, for hanging out and chatting. I appreciate it. Hope you hope you sleep well. Now I have that song in my head, whoopsies, my bad. I'm curious if everyone has ever played Werewolf Legacy. I have not. I have not, I, I, I don't. I mean, I haven't really looked into it, but like, how would that work, Werewolf Legacy? Is it like every, you play Werewolf and then like your descendants go on to like continue your Werewolf lineage or something? Like how would, how do you do a legacy social deduction game? No clue how that makes any sense. Well, once you die, you play your heir, but then everyone knows if you died and you were a werewolf, then your heir is also a werewolf. And then it's not social deduction anymore. I don't understand. Maybe my, maybe my, my mind isn't expanded enough. Isn't that just uh, King of the Castle? Oh my God, God, we gotta play King of the Castle again. Also, welcome back chicken. <laughs> Uh, ba, 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 ba. I need a tablet or an arrowhead or another idol. Well, it's gonna be hard to get idols because everyone's everyone's explored this board as much as it can. So I guess I should probably prioritize trying to get get up to this spot because it's the last spot where you can get idols. Because y'all are being greedy, little greedy gusses. Hmm. How am I gonna get six compasses? I can get two and then I can get four with this. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll build towards that for the fifth round, unless someone snipes it from me, which now that I've said that out loud is very possible. All right, I'll end my turn.
Yeah, there is a lot of discovering happening in this game online. It's been a very weird game. Yeah, that's why I was curious. I had the same thoughts as Ray. Yeah. It's a minimum of eight players and trying to get eight people to commit to something. Oh God. And they have to commit to something for like a long time because it's a legacy game. Wow. Now I kind of want to, now I kind of want to look into it. I need to lay more feed the Kraken and maybe finally get a game of Blood on the Clock Tower. Yes, Tantarlis. Hexstar, Hexstar and I have been trying to get together some Blood on the Clock Tower situation in our Discord. I've been super busy lately, but that is something we're always always kind of in the back of my mind if we should get another, get another Blood on the Clock Tower together. I really want to play in person though. That's the thing. I really, I'm really, really hoping to get an in-person game at like Gen Con or something. That That's what I really want. Cause Discord is fun and it works well over Discord and Hexar did a really good job running it. But I want, I want that in-person dramatic goodness. Oh, I really don't want to be the first person to pass this round, but I think, I think that may be my fate. I'm gonna tap this to get my coins. I'll buy a card. Activate a site you occupy. Ooh. Oh, buying artifacts at this point in the game. Yeah, we'll get that. I think that's gonna be more valuable at this point. All right, that's probably gonna be my last turn. Then I'm gonna pass. Oh, have a good lurk, Barb. Sorry, I'm just saying that. Must get my movie going uniform on and get ready to cartoon, hell yeah. Yeah, totally, Hexstar. We got sorry to get a song stuck in everybody's head. I can bump my music, try to try to get it out of your head. <laughs> Getting a fast food burger after, hell yeah. <laughs> Algal is immune. How did I lose all my time? I don't know. The timer's pretty short. You get like three minutes a turn. Don't worry. We won't. We won't kick you out of the game. You're good. <laughs> I also. I also have some negative time. It. Re it really sneaks up on you. Algal is bebe. <laughs> Small little bebe. <laughs> oh, can it flip numbers? <gasps> flip is still not running sad. Is there a second game or just the one? The second game of Arnak? We're just we're just playing this 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 one game of Arnak, if that's your question. Wait, what, Megan? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, just checking to see if we're gonna play another. Yeah, this will be it for today. We usually just play one. Usually just the one. I'm blown away that Alpha is 32. <laughs> Hi, Death. Welcome on in. Yeah, Alpha has a bebe. Small bebe. That was my favorite thing. Um, uh, Olympian got a bunch of people together to film a video for me for my birthday. Um, like saying happy birthday or whatever. And he mentioned, you know, oh, like Ray's turning 25. He read 
make a video or whatever it was that he said to make people make a video for me. My favorite was that half of Eleni's like video that she sent to me in like her submission was her just like freaking out over the fact that I'm 25. <laughs> That was like when we had our very first Zoom call, when I very when I met Eleni for the very first time, we had this whole call and then at the very end, she was like, wait a minute, how old are you? And at the time I was 23 and she lost it. Oh my God, it was so funny. I'm just like, a, I'm an undercover baby in this industry. You might like the second character set in Clock Tower. Bad Moon Rising, ooh. Because there is less passive information. Everyone has to try to kill each other. Ooh, wait to get info? Wait, I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm into that. So is, wait, is that Bad Moon Rising, is that like an expansion for Blood on the Clock Tower? I love making everyone feel old with their references. That's me and Tony's relationship constantly. <laughs> it's just Tony saying something and being like, hmm, sounds like old person stuff, never heard of it. Tony and I's relationship has become much more antagonistic <laughs> over the past year. We used to like poke fun at each other, but like only kind of, and now it's just constant. Now it's just constant. I'm, re I'm really excited because Tony's gonna be joining me on stream tomorrow for Mysterium. I am pumped. All right, I'm gonna pass because I want to save my compasses for exploring next round. So I'm out of here. Just Jeremiah and Megan left. Yeah, we're gonna be playing Mysterium on Steam. I, I just found out recently that Mysterium is on Steam, and we're gonna do a two part. We're gonna do a two part situation. The first hour, I'm gonna be the ghost. Uh, you're gonna have Steven and Tony playing as my like mediums or whatever. We're gonna do the thing where they're in like a Discord call, right? You can hear them, but they can't hear me. So we're gonna all communally be playing the ghost in Mysterium and we're gonna be able to hear what Tony and Steven are saying, but they're just gonna be in a void. They won't be able to hear me. They're not gonna be watching stream. So we can collaboratively be a ghost for them. And then the second hour it's gonna reverse where me and one of them are gonna be the mediums and one of them's gonna be the ghosts and we're gonna be interpreting their clues and they're gonna isolate and they can't hear anything. It's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. I don't really know how it's gonna work, but we are gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, Renny, I'm excited. Hey, I haven't thought it through probably as thoroughly as I should. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of an on the fly, hey, I hope this works. So yeah, I'm excited. I think it'll be good for like chat interaction, like chat being able to like influence and understand what's going on, which is my favorite type of game to play on stream, so. Clock Tower initially came with three character sets. The basic one, Trouble Brewing, is what we played. The closest to other werewolf games, gotcha. And the other two sets have different characters and interactions. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I'd be down to try a slightly different configuration next time we play. But yeah, that sounds wild. I'm really excited, Bloody. I think it'll be cool. Um, just mixing it up a little bit for Friday. We'll see. After this stream, I should probably sit down and think about the logistics a little bit more, or we just wing it, you know? Oh no, I'm so borpy from my seltzer chat. Oh, hell yeah, Megan, hell yeah. From what I remember on Steam, there are some bonus and extra cards that get unlocked in Mysterium from a few plays or achievements. Oh, in case you or the host uh, want to unlock a couple extra. That sounds like a lot of work, but it's good to know. It's good to know. And I don't think we'll be back from Meryl's work board game night yet, but I hope we can maybe catch a part else we have to watch the pod. Ooh, well have fun. You're gonna be doing something very cool. You're gonna be at your little work board game party. 
So I, that is, that's where I would want you to be. I wouldn't want you to leave early, just come hang out. But yeah, am I, what I'm most looking forward to is me being in a, in like on stream with you guys and just the, the disembodied voices of Steven and um, Tony just being so confused and angry at our clues. That's, that's what I want. That's what I am hoping to achieve with the stream tomorrow. They're unable to hear me or my reasoning. They're just like screaming into the void <laughs> about my clues being bad. Sla I'm sorry, our clues being bad. We're in this together tomorrow, chat. Um, hold on, chat. Sorry, someone's at my door. Well, that was, that was stressful, chat. Somehow the, the sewer guys have come both times while I'm streaming, which like, it makes me extra anxious <laughs> to hear a knock on the door like while I'm mid streaming. Cause my head, my, my mindset's just, I'm so focused on this that it like, it like pulls me out of it and spooks me. <sighs> my heart's thump, 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 thump. Basically, uh, if you weren't here on Tuesday, we had a city sewer pipe explode in my backyard just bleh, just bleh, vomited all over my yard. And they were marking the spot where they're now gonna pull out the pipe and put in a new one so they're gonna dig up my backyard late next week. Excited for that. Oh, I gotta bring my, I gotta bring my heart rate down. <laughs> it just, it just scares me. I, you get, I don't know, if, if any of you have ever streamed, you, you know what I'm talking about. You get in like this mindset when you're streaming. Like I'm here, I'm talking to you guys, kinda nothing else exists. Cause you kind of have to, right? Like if I'm sitting here thinking about life and work stuff, I'm not present. And in order to be present, I need to kind of like get in my weird little bubble and anything outside of that bubble happening, it like, it jostles me. It gets me very confused. Did you open the door and do your Twitch feel Hi, yes, welcome to my house. My name is Ray. Welcome to twitch.tv slash check games edition. Oh no, seems BGA is bugged out. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of weird bugs today with like my actions not going through the first time, but nothing, nothing major. <laughs> Hi Felix, welcome on in. Yeah, exactly, they pop my little, they pop my little streaming bubble and it stresses me out. Sorry about that chat. It was completely fine when we played when we played last played last week, so it might be a BGA server issue or something. How's it going, Felix? How's your week so far? Oh, my heart rate's slowly. We're slowly coming back down to earth. <laughs> Well, I apologize for something you can't control. Megan, have you met me? Oh my God, hi, my name is Ray. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I love you.
Yeah, maybe they're having a server issue or something. Oh, we're in round five. I must have switched rounds while I was panicking at my door. <laughs> God, why do I have these two fear cards in my hand? Yuck. All right, all right. Well, we're gonna, we're taking that last, that last discovery spot before any of y'all get to it. We're using a boat. Actually, no, we'll use, um, we'll use my two planes. Exile some of this fear. Oh, oh, come on, and I get more fear. It's a very fear-heavy game. All right, that's my turn. Went well on a drive home now from the road trip. Grab it. Oh, that's right, you went on a solo road trip. That's right. Was your road trip good? Grabbing some food and watching the storm. Hell yeah. Thank you, Felix. Thanks for spending time with us. I hope you had a good solo road trip. I've never, I don't know if I would ever do a solo road trip. I don't know. It sounds so romantic and cool in theory, but I feel like I'd get, I get like either freaked out or lonely all by myself. Well, you're taking a solo road trip, but you're gonna come see me. <laughs> it's a solo road trip with the end result of being with me. <laughs> what are your other hobbies, Ray? Um, video gaming is my other big hobby besides board gaming. I collect retro games, so games from like the SNES, NES era, uh, and I play a lot of play a lot of video games. I it, it feels so lame to be like besides analog gaming, I also uh, do digital games, but it's true. Gaming is my greatest hobby um, across the board. Mm. Yes, exactly. An omni gamer is the phrase. But yeah, I collect and play a lot of older video games. Um, and that's my that's my main other hobby besides board gaming. I'd like to say I'm getting into gardening. But I think all my plants are dying, so <laughs> maybe not. I would hate traveling solo in any case. We'll do any travel if Meryl, with Meryl if I can. Yes, I feel that bloody. Eight hours of driving total. Is it eight hours? I forgot. I know you sent me the picture. Is it eight hours one way or eight hours? I mean, you said eight hours in total, so is it four and then four? It's like four hours one way. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Dude, it's so funny to compare because I have such a European like coworker base and also audience as well. It's so funny to compare. Yeah, exactly what Bloody just said was exactly what I was gonna just mention. It's so funny to compare what is a long drive for an American versus anyone anywhere in Europe. Like <laughs> for them, four hours in many places could take you from one country to literally uh, like across that country to another country. That is like, that I could, I could drive four hours and stay in my state the whole time. Yeah, exactly. You can't even cross my state in four hours here. Like for me, a long drive is over six hours. Anything under six hours is like, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty normal. Oh man, you're in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, I mean, I'm from New England, so it's a little bit less bad. I feel like the further south and west you go, the higher people's tolerance for what a long car drive is. Yo, what's up, Velvet Otter? Welcome on in. I can drive 10 hours and still be in Michigan, yeah. Six hours in a row, yeah, Hexstar. Six hours, like straight, that's a long drive. Five hours is pretty like average. Like I drive five hours to get home. When I go to visit my parents in New Hampshire, that's a five hour drive for me. And that's like, that's about the limit of like, okay, 
this is a, like, we do that drive after work. Like I'll work a whole day. My partner and I will hop in the car and we'll drive up to New Hampshire. And that's like about the limit. More than that, like eight hours is what we drive to get to my partner's parents' house. That's a long drive. Oh, you're an Oregon. I'm so jealous. Okay, so you're not, you're, uh, not Texas then, you're Oregon. Oh. God, I would love to live in the Pacific Northwest, at least at some point in my life. I think I'll always come back to New England, but if I wanna, I wanna at least visit the Pacific Northwest sometime. It seems so beautiful. Um, I need coins. I need two coins. I need to pay off this airplane somehow. Yo, what's up, Astro Boy and Catskills? Hello, friends. Sorry, I gotta take my turn because I'm running out of time. But I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Let's do... Let's go here. Spend my free boat. Might as well. Damn. That is really not the card I wanted to see. Not the card I wanted to see. Eight hours that's like from one end of Britain to the other. Yeah, exactly. It's so funny to hear people's different tolerances for, for long drives. Home from work, who took the dog? I did not pay attention. I know Megan got the pack donkey, which is close. It's another animal. I hope we're doing well though, Foglight. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who are just tuning in, we've had several, we've had several question of the days today. First one was, tell me your least favorite month. Second one was either what's your favorite game on BGA, or if you have a if you have a specific opinion on this, I'm looking for suggestions for BGA games to play next Thursday that like people from chat can play with me. So I'm looking for like high player count games. I'm thinking um, welcome to uh, Next Station London, roll and write type stuff. If you have a suggestion for a game you wanna see us play, next Thursday, let me know, because I'm open to suggestions. Oh, Jeremiah got it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. 15 hours get me from Brisbane to Sydney. Oh, I didn't know you were in Australia, Velvet. I You must have said that and it just never clicked. That's sick. So it's like really early in the morning for you? Why are you up so early? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, 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 wait. How are you, how are you in Australia and watching the stream? I am at the moment, Ray. Okay, but you don't live there? I have so many questions. Ooh, nice redemption fog light. No, I live in the US now. Okay, but you're in New England, but you're in Australia right now? Are you just like visiting? That's why I was confused. Cause like, I didn't, I feel like I would have known. Okay, you're just visiting, okay. Because in my brain, I didn't, I didn't have you in in my head as an Australian. I feel like I I, I bookmark the pe like chatters who live in like weird places, um, like get bookmarked in my brain. I hadn't I hadn't clocked that yet, so that that makes sense because you don't actually live there. Visiting the fam, that's nice. But isn't it still very early then? Isn't it like four in the morning? <laughs> strange places, cat Ohio. Ohio is a strange place. I feel like Ohio would confuse a lot of my coworkers. Have a good day, Felix. Thanks for stopping by. I feel like for this chat, weird place means not Europe or the US or Canada. Those are the big, those are the big three representative places of our chat. <laughs> All right, so now I can move my book up. <gasps> the future. So it is really early. How how's our Friday looking, Velvet? Can you give us your future prediction? That's so weird. 
literally every time, every time someone's from a different, like a significantly different time zone, it blows my mind that it is Thursday afternoon for me, but Friday morning for you, you're in the future. It's so weird. Or I'm in the past. It's so weird. A bones or no bones day. God, I missed that meme. I haven't thought of a bones or no bones day in so long. Yes, it is early, but I'm jet lagged. Oof, man. How long was your total like travel time to get there, Velvet? Freddy's looking nice, high of nine degrees Celsius, 45 Fahrenheit today, and it looks a bit gray and cloudy outside, no rain though. Lovely, Velvet, I sure hope that's true. Jason, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the 10 month uh, resub. Thank you for supporting our mods for almost a whole year. Thank you so much, Jason, I appreciate it. It's good to see you, how's your week going? Canada is the sneaky one. Usually it's more apparent when people are from Europe. Um, I can know someone their whole life and then one day they'll, <laughs> one day they're all like, I'm from Canada. It is, it is the, it's the stealthy nationality. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it's going okay, Jason. Flight was about 24 hours, including layovers and stuff. Okay, that's actually not bad. If it, that includes layovers, that's not bad. I usually book myself very obscenely long layovers because I get very anxious about, about international travel in particular. Hmm. Actually, let's start by doing this and getting this, getting a little arrowhead, and then we'll move up here so that we can untap. So I'm gonna grab this one, discard that card to untap my assistance. Sweet, I'm happy with that turn. Yeah, Australia is a hard one though. Half the people I know from Australia are originally from another country, gotcha. You did a dumb again, Megan. No, you don't mean it. You don't mean it. And usually it's people I don't like people. That's valid. No, I usually, I, like, if I can, I'll give myself my, like, comfortable layover if it's international travel is, like, five hours. That's, like, my comfy zone. Anything under three hours is way too risky. Maybe it's because I started, like, regularly internationally traveling right after COVID, like I started doing it 2021, 2022, cause that's when I got the CGE job and I started going like to the Czech Republic and Canada and all like all over the place, right? And I had a couple of traumatic experiences. Like my first time I went to the Czech Republic, I was, I had a layover in Germany and I gave myself four hours and I swear to God, just getting through like the transit security, right? If you're coming in as an international person, was three hours. Like I, I barely made it. <laughs> and everyone was laughing at me. They're like, oh, you know, hour and a half kind of all you need. I'm like, maybe in the nineties, but not anymore. Everything's all bloated and terrible and having to check um, vaccines and everything with COVID when those were, when those requirements were really strict, um, international traveling was a, was a nightmare. Uh, Foglet, I, I believe you're rooting for Jeremiah Blob. I believe they said that they took the dog. I think my, when I'm going, cause I'm going to Canada, end of this month, it's officially June, y'all. Happy Pride Month. I'm going to Canada way sooner than my little lizard brain wants to believe I am. I think I have like, um, I think I have like a four hour layover or something, but US to Canada is not as, not as bad. I think, I've only done it once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Merry Gamus, everybody. <laughs> I'm excited too, Akali. I'm re I'm really, really looking forward to it. 
promise I have, I have a little bit more work now that I have to do at GCC. Originally, all I was doing at GCC was um, I'm emceeing a game of code names on like their their big official main stage. That's like my main reason for going to GCC is to be like the on camera person to facilitate that game. And then of course last week in a meeting, Stephen piped up and was like, "Why don't Rachel and I do a do a talk while we're there?" So now I have to prepare a talk that I <laughs> that will be fun. It'll be interesting. It'll be good. I'm just being lazy and now I have to actually put in effort to go to GCC. <laughs> I know, right? Leave it to Steven. I know, I know. He like pitched it in a meeting and I couldn't be like, actually, no, I don't wanna do work. So I was like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Cause I couldn't tell the truth, which is that I wanna be lazy. I just wanna go to GCC to see my friend Alkali and to do a cool thing on a stage. That's all I wanna do at GCC. I want I want no other responsibilities. But now everyone can blame, blame Steven. He's given me, he's given me a responsibility now at GCC. So now I have to write a, now I have to write a talk with him. He's helping to be fair to Steven. He's helping, but still. <laughs> All right, let's get this guardian before I completely forget to do it. <laughs> yeah, Alkali, the, the most exciting part is that you get to hang out and play like board games with us. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It should be a pretty chill show too, so we should we should have some time. And you can now, Alkali, you can also work it into your schedule to come to my talk. It should be interesting. We're gonna be doing a talk on how to stream analog games. So tips and tricks on tech for getting into board game streaming, resources for like digital board game streaming, like the differences if you're, you know, coming from video game streaming and you're wanting to get into board game streaming, like the differences between the two, that sort of thing, because GCC is a, convention that's split down the middle between video games and board games. So we will see, I don't know. It's Steven's idea. So if it goes badly, it's Steven's fault. And I think we're also gonna be able to hang out with uh, Opcos games, I think. I, I think he'll be showing up. I don't know. Are there any other friends that are coming to GCC who I don't know about? I think that's it. I think it's Alkali and Opcos are the only like chatters that I know, like stream related people that I know, but there might be someone else that I've completely forgotten. Blues Funk, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Hello and welcome. Uh, for you or anyone else who's new around here, welcome to the Check Games Edition Twitch channel. My name is Ray. I'm the in-house streamer marketing person here. <laughs> I hang out on this stream uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We play a lot of CGE games because CG is a board game publisher. We make all the games you see behind me, like uh, Code Names, Code Names, Deal the Devil, Letter Jam, Lost Rooms of Arnak, which is what we're playing right now on BGA. But we do play non-CGE games as well. So if you're just a general board game fan, this is a great place for you to hang out. For example, tomorrow we're playing Mysterium, which is not, not a CGE game, but I am very, very excited for tomorrow. So yeah, Blues Funk, feel free to jump in chat and say hey, or just lurk and vibe, whatever you feel like. No pressure. Um, I think I'm gonna use this guy. Because I could use some coins. Could use some coins. Hmm. I guess I will do this. Oh, I don't have enough compasses. I'll do this. And I'll turn one of my tablets into an arrowhead and that will be my turn. All right, let's go. <gasps> no, Megan, I forgot I didn't need the compasses if it was unlocked. Megan, did you save up a bunch of compasses? No. You can buy artifacts though. Artifacts are really helpful late game because remember you get the effects immediately. So like having compasses late game is not the end of the world, but I also totally feel your pain. I'm so sorry. Meg, welcome on in. Different Megan, Megs. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us in chat. They say the talk sounds super interesting. I'll look forward to it. Are you gonna be at GCC? Hell yeah. I would love it. If you're gonna be at GCC, please come, please come to my talk. Cause one of the reasons I didn't want to do a talk is I get very anxious about putting energy and effort into a thing and then having no one show up. 
And I am not entirely convinced that this talk is going to appeal to a lot of people. So if you're going to be there, I'd love to see you in the audience because that'd be that'd make me feel nice. <gasps> oh, Megan, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, girl. That's the worst. And it's going to be your first ever con. That's right. Oh, my God, Alkali, how are you feeling about that? How are you feeling? You're going to have an expert to show you around, though. You're going to get the you're going to get the VIP treatment. Alkali, the, here's the ruse that we're going to pull over, OK? Alkali, I need you to pay attention. Um, we are going to come up to the booth. You're not going to tell anyone who you are. You're going to say you're a business associate or you work for like, I don't know, name any other company. And then I'm going to be like, I have to go take my business meeting with my business associate. And then we can go walk around and look at the show because <laughs> otherwise they'll make me work the booth. <laughs> you gotta shh, not tell anyone. I'll be like, mm, yes, me and my associate are gonna have to go do business, business, numbers, numbers. <laughs> and what do I want to do? I have enough things to, oh God, there's fear at every level of this research track. It's truly so annoying. I can do this. I will get a tablet. Or no. Ah, shoot. Well, can I undo that? I think. Yeah, I can't. Oh, well, I probably. Oh, no, it did let me undo it. It did let me undo it. Okay, cool. I think the better move here is to take the compass instead of the tablet, because I'm gonna need a compass up here. Oh, but I have a compass, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. I think it'll work out one way or the other. I won't be able to send my nephew to photobomb Ray like he usually does. Oh no, death. That's a bummer. <laughs> I tell everyone who's over during a stream that you are my boss, bloody, that's like, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I mean, technically, maybe I kind of am. I'll, that's fine. You can put me down as a reference. Any of the mods, if you ever need like um, a resume reference, you got my number, please. <laughs> I am happy to, to speak on your behalf, to pre pretend to be your like actual real boss. Damn, Wim is, is cleaning up house here. Damn. Wait, Megan, you have four guardians? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have not been paying enough attention to what Megan's been doing. Megan, you got four guardians? What the hell? What, what? Damn, okay. All right. I feel like I usually go a very guardian heavy strategy. This game, it just didn't end up, didn't end up panning out that way for me. Megan be fighting. <laughs> oh my God, I absolutely adore Catskills emotes. This game has not been my best, but you know what, Megan? We love you anyway. <laughs> you tried your best and that's all that matters. Just a little gal doing her best. Yo, what's up, Chad? Welcome on in. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Hope you're having a good Thursday. I've been watching a potato resolution for a while. Oh no. I'm sorry. You should be able to get 1080p on Twitch. I mean, it's not gonna help you a ton because there's a lot of I have to zoom out in order to get all the info on the on the screen, so. I do know that that's, that's kind of a pain and I apologize for that. All right, we're gonna pop up here. And we're gonna flip over you. I 
having be feisty in life right now. I can understand that, Megan. And you know what, board games? Good outlet for real life feistiness. I feel like Wim's gonna win, but it could be, it could be a, an upset at the end here. Jeremiah is doing quite well with their book and the magnifying glass. Megan's got a ton of guardians. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Thanks for playing with me, Wim and Jeremiah and Megan. It really, it's so much fun to play against people in chat. So thanks for hanging out. I think you are wrong. You think you're not winning? At first glance, it looks like you're doing you're doing quite well, but I haven't really been paying attention to like what cards you've been getting and stuff. I mean, you got two guardians. You're top of the research track. Got temple tiles already. Looks pretty legit to me, but we'll see. All right. Um. I can get my book up to the next spot if I get a gem here. I can move my book up here. Draw a card. God damn it! This game has just been the worst luck. I swear to God, every time I've taken a draw card action, it's been fear every single time. I have not once drawn a usable card. I... Mm, every time! I'm fine, it's fine, everything's fine. We're having a super chill, awesome time. I'm having fun with my friends, it's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Pain. <laughs> Thanks, Alkali. All on chat. I need a snack. I'll be back. Okay, I have chocolate now. I had a very early lunch, so I was feeling my blood sugar dropping a little bit. Mm. What do I want to do here? I need a tablet and an arrowhead if I'm going to move my book anymore. Or an arrowhead and a gem if I'm gonna move my magnifying glass. Ugh, gross. <laughs> if I buy enough items, it will offset my fear as in real life. 
Board games are nothing if not a life lesson for the real world. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna use my idol to get a bonus card, see if I get anything good. If it's another fear, it's just a coin. Oh man, I was hoping that was gonna be something better. I thought that was gonna like answer my my prayers, but it did not. C'est la vie. Let's do this before I forget. Man, I got so many cards, but I don't, I'm not really seeing a way to get compasses or gems in order to climb the research track anymore. What I, pr I probably should have used my idol to get, to get a compass to get this card. Maybe that would have given me some better luck. All right, I'll just use this for now. Let's me buy an item. I'll use this because it's worth more points because I'm never going to see it. And that'll be it. Also, Death Warmed Over, thank you for that gift that's up to Boudet. Thank you for gifting that sub while I was getting my little snack. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're new around here and you didn't know, any any revenue at all that we generate from AdSense, from subscriptions, from bits, any of that stuff, uh, it just gets split four ways and given to my four amazing moderators. I don't keep it. CGE doesn't keep it. It's just a really nice way to give back to my moderators who help me out literally so much. They help me so much behind the scenes. It's a really nice way to get back to them. So thank you for that, Death. A snack, but it's almost sleep time. I know, I do get weird dreams if I snack too close to bedtime, especially cheese. I feel like I get really messed up cheese dreams sometimes. All right, I'm gonna buy this card. I'm, I'm in the just buy cards for points phase because I don't think there's anything else I can do, unfortunately, which is such a bummer. I feel like I set up a good little, I got good assistance and everything, but <laughs> messed up cheese dreams. Y'all, I'm so excited to play Chaos Names with Eric next Friday. If you have if you have good ideas for Chaos Names cards, and if you don't know Chaos Names, you can redeem, um, you can like pick a redemption with your channel points on this channel. You can put anything you want in like the like write a Chaos Names card or whatever that redemption is called. Chaos Names is when we take all the things that you put into those suggestion boxes and we put them on code names cards and then we play code names with them. And there'll be things like messed up cheese dreams. And that'll be one of the cards in code names that we play with. And I'm gonna be playing with my very good friend, Eric Yurko next Friday. So if you want some good chaos names cards in that game, put them in probably before like, before like Wednesday or Thursday of next week. That's when I'll probably set the deck up. So get your, get your ideas in now. <laughs> Glue laugh glove. <laughs> so good. Man, I wish Eric would stream. He's so he's so good on stream. I mean, selfishly, I don't hope he streams because then I get him as my guest all the time. All right, bye, Wim. I think I'm out too pretty soon. Oh, Jeremiah can buy. Yeah, I was just gonna say that Jeremiah could buy the donkey or whatever that was, the horse. God, I have so much. I'm gonna have like negative six points in fear, which is crazy. I never keep this much fear, but we get it a lot on the Snake Temple and I ran away from a couple guardians. It's been a weird game for me. <laughs> Tap that to get some coins. That's a good, that's a good steal. Two coins for two points, I'll take it. I'll take it. Down to you and me, Jeremiah. Down to our little Western duel. 
very boring Western duel where we just buy cards. Oh, come on. There's nothing I can buy for two compasses. Ah, damn. All right. I'm tapped out. That's it. That's GG's. All right. Final scoring chat. Started with our temple tiles where, of course, Wim dominated. Oh, I technically got more points, but they got, they got temple tiles, which I count as the same category. Then idols, Megan got 13. I have 13. This is where Megan blew us out of the water with what, her 20 guardian points or whatever? I think I got a lot of cards. Yeah, oh God, Jeremiah beat me there though. I'm guessing minus six in fear for me. I didn't do a whole lot of exiling. Ah, minus four, not as bad. <gasps> I won? Oh my god, I won by one point. So the final, the final listing, I won with 62, followed by Wim with 61, Jeremiah with 59, and Megan with 54. Incredibly close game, you guys. Oh my god, I did it! Wait, I'm so proud. I feel like I, I don't know if I've ever won against chat in a, in a chat game of Arnak. Let's go! That was a very, very close game. Very weird game too. Very high exploration game. Not a, not as much research track stuff as you normally see. Only one person ended up with temple tiles. Very weird game, but super, super fun. Thank you all so much for playing with me. Thank you, Megan, Jeremiah, and Wim for taking two hours out of your Thursday to play Arnak with me, genuinely. So much fun. I hope you had fun too. Thank you for playing with me. I really appreciate it. Eric and Linnaeus just got a lot of points. Hell yeah, the only believers, the only believers in me. Y'all, thank you so much. I'm so glad you had fun. Wim, Hexstar, Megan, Alkalite, Jeremiah, uh, Bloody Sora, Foglight, Rennie. Thank you all so much for hanging out to the very end of the stream. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, whatever is left of it. I'm gonna go get a snack, cause I'm hungry. I'm gonna peace out. I'm gonna see if there's anybody Anybody live that we can go raid? Any friendos? Um, but before I end, end of stream announcements. I'm gonna be live all day tomorrow because Friday we do a nice big long stream. Oh, thank you chicken. Thank you for hanging out. Shout out to my mods for being amazing as always. Um, I'm gonna be doing a nice long stream tomorrow. I'll be live from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time. The morning half, we're gonna be doing the Galaxy Trucker puzzle. Gonna have my morning coffee, chit chat, scream about how I can't find the puzzle piece I want. We're currently working on the cover of the new Galaxy Trucker. So here, I can show you. This, this game right here, we're doing a puzzle of its cover. Uh, we'll do that for a couple hours in the morning, hang out, warm up, chit chat. I'll have my lunch and then we're gonna transition to Mysterium. That's what I've been talking about today. This really cool format for Mysterium that we're gonna try tomorrow. I don't know how it's gonna go, but it's gonna involve Tony and Steven yelling at me. So regardless of anything else, it'll be entertaining. So I hope to see y'all there for that. I have no Sunday stream this week, so it's just tomorrow. Be back here or be square. <laughs> if you're watching and you haven't followed the stream, I would greatly appreciate it. It gives you notifications when we go live, but also you can turn those off. If you don't, if you don't want them, you can also just turn them off. And speaking about BGA, you can join our closed CGE BGA group. If you want to play games with people from this community, uh, you can post about it and, and use that group to do so. And yeah, I think that's it for end of stream announcements. Oh, I know who we're going to raid. It's going to be a secret though. God, look, his setup is so fancy. Wow. All right, we're gonna go raid a good, old, good friend of mine. Bada bing. We're gonna go raid uh, James from Opcost Games. He's a delight. He's playing some Twilight Inscription, which I have never played, but it's like a really beefy roll and write, or am I getting it confused with one of the other Twilight games? It's the really beefy roll and write, I think. Um, so go say hi to James. I adore him. Drop down, drop down your egg emotes. I think for him specifically, our raid message today should just be egg. Um, but if you don't have, if you don't have subscriber emotes, you can get them by subscribing to the channel. But if you don't have them, you can just write, check out this raid. Uh, but if you got subscriber emotes, copy paste egg in James's chat. Tell him we sent you. Hang out for some Twilight Inscription. And I hope to see y'all tomorrow morning. Bye everybody.